mean? Then guys, we eat the liver first. None of y'all stopping me. Don't need the axe. Chopping trees, planting seeds, plotting schemes. Crossing eyes, dotting T's. Lines are blurred, I cannot see. For I die, I'm top three. For I die, I'm top three. You tell me how many reps I gotta do. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, you can see it is 7 12 now on my clock. So, like I said, Eating, cooking, everything less than 15 minutes. We started cooking at 7.01. We were finished, I think, 7.08. Then I threw on this liver. I actually cleaned up everything, cleaned up my whole mess already. Didn't even eat it yet. So, four whole legs, 110 grams, cottage cheese mixed in, two servings or one serving, two slices, Canadian bacon, and the main thing, guys, we eat the liver first. That liver is my favorite tasting food because it never really tastes that good. But well, you get used to it. Like I said, body literally starts to crave it, right? So it was about an ounce of beef liver seared one minute, one and a half minutes total. Four eggs, 110 grams of cottage cheese, two slices of Canadian bacon. 52 grams of protein in this meal, probably less than 600 total calories. And another thing that I'll do with it, which doesn't really count as the breakfast, is in the winter time here in New York, my hands get all cracked and dry, right? One of the main things that for the last couple years that have helped it is supplementing with flax oil, right? Again, I'm not a big proponent of any, you know, vegan sources of protein. This isn't a protein source or anything, but this is very high in omega-3 essential fatty acids. And I notice when I take it, I just literally take one shot of it when I'm done with my breakfast. It keeps my skin, my nails, everything, my hands from cracking and getting too chapped in the winter. And it's been brick these last couple days. It's been like the teens. So New York is cold. I'm going to eat this breakfast. Start my day. Let's get it, guys. All right, guys. So since it's a full day of eating, it's only right that I share with you my current supplement intake, right? So... I already told you with breakfast, at the end of breakfast, I already had it. One serving, I just shoot it right into my mouth. Pause. Flax oil, organic flax oil. High omega-3s, that's great for the skin, hair, and nails and everything, right? So now actual supplements. So every morning, especially now in the winter time, if it's summertime, I do not take this first supplement. So summertime, I do not take vitamin D. I take it in the winter time, even though every day I still go out in the sun, I still get sun on my eyes and my skin try to get it, you know, let my body absorb it for at least 10 to 15 minutes, but I'm not in it as much as I am in the summertime, so vitamin D supplement. This is a liquid vitamin D by Equilife, one of the my favorite supplement companies, right? Really high quality supplements, so you just put two drops under the tongue. Second, another Equilife brand, the best omega-3 supplement that I've ever came across. Really high total uh, amount of omega-3s, this is 2.5 grams. This flax oil has 7,400 milligrams of essential threes, but flax oil is a vegan source of omega threes. The body does not convert it as bioavailable as it does animal sources. This is pure fish oil, omega threes. Two and a half gram servings, and it has 1.25 grams of EPA, which is the really good uh, omega three that you want. It has half a gram, 500 milligrams of DHA, right? So EPA, DHA, you wanna make sure you're getting high quality sources of your omega-3s. Boom, then I take two vitamin C's every morning, which is two grams, 2,000 milligrams. I take total four capsules of magnesium a day, that's 2,000 milligrams total. Split up two in the morning, two in the evening. So two in the morning, Two vitamin C's. Let's just take the D right now. Pause. Two to three drops under the tongue. We get two fish oil pills. So we're going to take these six 
first right now. Show you guys everything. Boom. Then we got still the ancestral supplements, beef organ pills, right? So this has spleen, pancreas, liver, kidney, heart, all in this blend, right? Even though I'm eating liver every morning, which is going to give me probably way more micronutrients overall than any of these supplements combined, it is just routine, guys. And to be honest, I actually, I was on a subscription for these beef organ pills for like months now, for actually years, but I actually just canceled my, my subscription, right? So that's the last bottle that I'll be using. Not gonna keep spending money on this if I'm taking if I'm eating beef liver every day. Then vitamin E. One pill of vitamin E. Now these two. These are from Kino Body. I got Greg O'Gallagher. We got Kino Mojo for testosterone support. And then we have nitro, which is good for blood circulation, right? So we take two capsules of nitro every morning. Then we take three capsules of Mojo. Testosterone support, blood circulation. The last two bottles you'll see here is glycine and digestive enzymes. From having a heavy meal. You know, a meal that can, that's comprised of carbohydrates, fats, proteins, a heavy 500, 600 calorie plus meal. I'll always take digestive enzymes with it. I've been promoting these on my channel for years now, guys. Link in the description. Go check out buyoptimizers.com. Go get yourself some digestive enzymes, the best ones on the market. Here, glycine. Here, inositol. So, I'm not, I've always been one that doesn't always get the greatest sleep, right? So, I always tend to wake up in the middle of the night and have trouble falling asleep. And what I came across after, you know, listening to a lot of Andrew Huberman, following these doctors on IG, inositol and glycine combined with magnesium at night have been a game changer in my sleep, right? So I'll take two servings or two capsules of inositol, which is basically like a sugar pill. You take it, it's literally sugar in there, but I help, I'm, I'm pretty sure it just helps you know, reset the circadian rhythm, calm the body down. Glycine does the same thing. Basically, glycine is just used to unwind. It helps the body relieve stress, calm down at night. So I'll take two capsules of glycine, two capsules of inositol, and my final two capsules of magnesium about one hour before bed. I'll take that, and literally within about 40 minutes, I'm knocked out, sound asleep. So supplements, got to be included in the full day of eating. See you at the rest of the meals, guys. All right, guys, back in the kitchen for meal number two of the day. It is 10.37. I just got home from training clients. So the only meal we had so far was four eggs, cottage cheese, Canadian bacon, liver, flax oil, right? That's the first meal. So three grams of carbs in the system for the day. I never said I was avoiding carbs entirely. Remember, I just said that I was readjusting the types of foods that I was going to be consuming and naturally now I'm probably going to be on a slightly higher fat diet, which in the past has been the most advantageous diet for me to follow when it came to being lean and aesthetic, right? Over the past two or three summers, I typically kept it higher carb. I got lean, but I never got as lean as I was at my prime, right? Around 2015 to 2017 years, right? That was when I was predominantly eating higher fats. I was doing a lot of fasting back then too, but I'm not going to be fasting at the moment. So today is an actual off day for me. So we're gonna be the pre this meal too would typically be my pre-workout meal on a training day. Now, summertime, this would be my actual pre-workout meal. But now that it's winter time here in New York and it's cold, if I was training today, the pre-workout meal would be slightly different. So actually let me go grab one other thing. And we'll pull this out afterwards, right? So like I said, initially in my intro video from talking about breakfast. My goal now is to eat cleaner source of carbohydrate. Eliminate, like I said, 95% of grains. So I'm eliminating bread, like I said. I'm eliminating the pastas. I'm eliminating the rices, the cream of rices, right? And I'm focusing now more on whole foods, right? Starches now for me are mainly gonna be 
a potato if I'm eating it, and maybe an oatmeal, which I haven't had in a while. But, and the reason for that being is, oatmeal compared to cream of rice is gonna be a slower digesting carb, right? So that would be typically one of the only starches, grains that I would be consuming, and it would be as a pre-workout meal, right? Again, just for that energy before a tough workout. But, today, and that's only because I would like something warm in my stomach on a cold winter day before I train. And I'm not training today, and this would be my pre-workout meal in the summertime. When we're making a smoothie, right? Whole foods-based, animal-based smoothie right here. And we're gonna start with some frozen fruit. So what I like to use, I've been using this a lot lately, this Wyman's brand tropical berry and coconut blend. So this has pineapple, strawberries, mangoes, and coconuts. Three and a half grams of fat, 17 grams of carbs, one gram of protein per serving. A serving is 140 grams. We go 200 grams each time, right? So we're gonna go 200 grams of frozen fruit. And this doesn't have to be this particular blend, right? You guys can do strawberry banana smoothie, blueberry banana smoothie, whatever you guys prefer, right? Like I said, we're not avoiding carbs, we're just switching up the carb sources. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add 150 grams of banana. 150 grams right here. It's 110. Hundred and sixty, little over, no biggie. Next, we are going to put salt. Like I said, guys, you're eating whole foods based. You're lowering your carbs. You're eating less processed foods. Not that I ate a lot of processed foods ever, but just again due to the fact that sodium is important for hydration. It's important for muscle contractions. It's important for pumps. We're going to include some salt. We're also going to put some cinnamon. Salt, cinnamon. Typically now, if I was training, this glutamine and creatine would go in my post-workout shake, right? My post-workout drink, which you saw in my last video, is coconut water and whey protein, and sometimes I'll throw maple syrup in there. Remember, creatine gets absorbed faster into the bloodstream in the presence of some sugar. And what do we have in here? Fruits. Fruits. Or sugars, no matter what, when you digest, when they break down the body, they break down to fructose, but it's still a sugar, fruit sugar. It's going to help the creatine get absorbed a little better. So, five grams of creatine, five to ten grams of glutamine. Then we are going to put, gotta get a spoon, guys. Then we're going to put the liquid in. And I'm going to use unsweetened almond milk. Now, if I was Really trying to shred out cut, this would be water. But again, guys, like I said, even though I'm eating cleaner now, and naturally my calories are going to be in a slight, are, are going to be lower than I was in my peak bowl, I'm not going into an actual cut yet, right? So right now my maintenance calories are around 3,000, and that's what my target calories are. So I'm going from a 3,600 calorie bulk, 35, 3,600 calorie bulk, so it's a surplus of around five, 600 calories back down to maintenance, which is around 3,000, right? So I'll level off at maintenance calories for a few weeks, maybe even a few months right now, and then when I really want to shred out, that's when we cut the calories. So liquid is in. Now what we have to add, we want to add the protein. And what I'm using, I'm using collagen protein here, guys, vital peptides, vital proteins, collagen peptides. I'm sure you guys have seen this, very popular brand. And I'm just going to do one serving. This is the chocolate flavor. And to be honest, the reason why I get chocolate is because if I'm making my pre-workout, when I was making my pre-workout cream of rices, when I was on my bulk, right, I would throw this in, into the cream of rice, make it taste amazing chocolate cream of rice. So now I'm doing the same thing with my oatmeal. So like I said, so if I was training today on a cold January New York morning, instead of having a smoothie, because I wouldn't want to drink a smoothie and then go out into the cold and train, I would have some oatmeal, right, nice and warming. So I would have 60 grams of oats, which is one and like a quart, one and a third servings. I would have oats. I would top the oats with blueberries. I would throw chocolate collagen protein in there, some salt, and I would use now a grain-free granola that I've been using, which again is lower in carbs, higher in fat, from Elizabeth's. And I don't have it right now. I ran out of it yesterday. But 
Training days, those would be the only grains I would be eating oatmeal. So cut out the rice, cut out the bread, cut out the pastas, cut out all that junk. Oatmeal for the pre-workout meal, my only grain. And uh, to finish this off, guys, we have to add now for the calories because it's not training day, so we have a little more fats in the pre-workout meal because there's no workout going on today. Typically on a pre-workout meal, I'm going to have the fats lower and it will be higher in carbs regardless, right? So we're going to just do one half serving, which is 16 grams of almond butter. And look at that, like a pro, guys. 16 on the dot. Perfection. All right. So we have 150, 160 grams of banana today. 200 grams of frozen fruit, nine ounces of almond milk. You guys can choose however much liquid you want, depending on how you like the consistency of your smoothie. We got one serving, which is 20 grams of collagen protein. We got some cinnamon. We got our salt. We got our almond butter, creatine, glutamine. I'm going to blend this up. This is going to be around probably, I think, 530 calories in here right now. This will be the second meal of the day. I'm gonna actually head to the garage. I got more clients to train right now. So I'll be back home around, it's 10.45 now. I'll be back home around two, so about three and a half hours from now. And I'll get ready, I'm gonna start preparing. Lunch will be the third meal of the day. See you there. All right guys, it is just about time for lunch. It is 1.37 on the iWatch. I plan on eating around 2.15, so in about a half hour from now, maybe 40 minutes, not that it's going to take that long for this meal to be prepared or cooked or anything. I'm just going to set it up now and then I'm going to cook it five minutes before I'm ready to eat it, right? And then I'll show you the final product. But again, we're trying to keep these meals very simple, right? I'm preaching whole foods. You want your predominant amount of your calories to be coming from single ingredient sourced foods, right? Breakfast, we had eggs, cottage cheese, Canadian bacon. Everything single ingredient, right? We just combine them. So now... Same thing with the smoothie, right? We threw bananas, frozen fruit, all single ingredient foods just combined together, right? So we're not having anything processed here. So lunch is gonna be comprised of, we got 93.7 organic grass-fed ground beef. I have this Icelandic skier, which is basically the exact same thing as 0% low-fat Greek yogurt. I have some low-fat shredded mozzarella cheese. You guys do not have to lo use low-fat shredded cheese. I'm doing it to control calories right now. And uh, you can choose regular cheese, whatever you want on this. And those are gonna be the three main ingredients, right? We're gonna season this beef up with some garlic, salt, pepper. That is all. We're gonna be making a nice bowl. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. And then we're only gonna top it off. We have some yellow bird sriracha hot sauce and some Sir Kensington Chipotle mayo. Again, this is, hundreds, this is organic, keto-friendly, gluten-free, no seed oils in here, no seed oils in any of, the, any of these meals that we're eating. None of my condiments have seed oils in it. Check the ingredients yourself, guys. I'm very keen on that. So these are just the ingredients. I'm going to season up this beef up now, let it sit around, get to room temperature. And again, this meal will take about five minutes to prepare. So I'll see you at the finished product. Check it out. All right, guys, like I said, I wanted to eat at around 2.15. It's 2.17, right on track. Like I said, I literally just let this meat sit out for a few minutes to get to room temperature. So what I have here, weighed out, I have eight ounces of the grass-fed, this is 93.7 grass-fed ground beef. Guys, do not judge this meal. Do not knock it till you try it. So like I said, very simple, few ingredients. We're just gonna combine them together. So I have this 0% plain Icelandic skier, which is identical to 0% Greek yogurt, right? So you could use full fat, doesn't matter. I'm just using 0% because I'm getting fat from other sources, right? So we're going to use 100 grams of this. A serving size, size is 170 grams, which gives you 19 grams of protein. 100 grams is going to give me around 12 grams of protein. But I'm not looking for this for the protein now, guys. We're looking for this to make a nice consistency for our bowl, which we're gonna make here. So we might actually throw a little more. Let's see, we're gonna throw, all right, we're gonna go 120, 120 grams, because we got a little bit more meat in there today. Usually I only use six ounces. I got eight ounces. So 
120 grams of this low-fat Greek yogurt. We're going to top that with some hot sauce. You could be generous with this, however much you want. Now this, this is the chipotle mayo. This we don't want to be that generous with because this is calorie dense, right? And the serving size of this is very small. It's only 14 grams, so we're going to only weigh out half of that. Seven grams, because we don't need much. We just want the creaminess, pause, but and the flavor, you already know. All right, so 10 grams, so two-thirds of the serving. Now, like I said, you guys, I'm going to use this low-fat, light shredded mozzarella cheese. You can use any cheese of your choosing. Just going to put this on for flavor. Again, guys, and some texture. Let's do 28 grams, which is the serving size. Extra 60 calories here. Easy work. And then, what you can add for more calories and some healthy fats, I got an avocado here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scoop this avocado out. Perfectly ripe. I don't like any brown avocados. So if there's brown in there, it ain't going in here. You know what I'm saying? So 50 grams of avocado. And now guys, very simple. Just gonna literally mash all this up. Like I said, do not knock this until you try it. You think eating ground beef and rice is enjoyable? No, remember when I was in the bulk and I would eat my ground beef and rice dishes, what I would do is I would cook up eight ounces of bone broth and then I would dump the bone broth in, bone broth into the rice and beef to make it more palatable, right? Because nobody likes to eat dry food, guys. This is just creative ways to keep the food simple, whole food ingredients, and make your meals more enjoyable. Very low carb meal, high in protein, high in healthy fats, high in gains. So that's meal number three for the day, guys. We'll probably get two more meals in before the end of the day. Let's go. Okay, it is 5.15. This is about three hours after lunch. And we're gonna be prepping now the final meal of the day. When I say meal, it's actually gonna be the final meal because my last meal is what I consider to be my dessert. But again, it's a homemade dessert that again is gonna be whole foods, simple ingredients, just something to cleanse the palate. And I'll have that probably an hour after we finish this meal. So for dinner here, I have marinating. I have two New Zealand grass-fed lamb shoulder chops. Beautiful piece of meat right here. I got them seasoned in organic extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of salt, garlic, pepper. And then here I got some organic butternut squash. Butternut squash is actually a fruit, not a vegetable. And very low in carbohydrates, so I'm gonna get it. This is gonna be about 200 grams uncooked weight, which is weighs out to about like 20, maybe 22 grams of carb. So low carb there. So it's just gonna be these lamb shoulder chops with a side of this butternut squash. That I'm gonna cook everything here again in that grass fed beef tallow. So I'm just gonna let this marinate, let all these juices soak up into the meat. And I'll probably start cooking in about a half hour, 45 minutes, around 6 o'clock. Eat this and see you for the final meal. Let's go. All right, guys. Like I said, it's the final meal, but it's actually going to be final meals of the day. I'm actually going to combine my dinner and my dessert into one meal today. Just because it's a little late right now and I have somewhere to be after this. So it's 6.15 right now. I'm going to wrap up a full day of eating in these two meals. So I got... Savory and sweet, all everything made, homemade, simple ingredients. So you guys saw before, we're prepping and marinating. We got the two lamb shoulder chops. We got about 200 grams of roasted butternut squash. Cook that lamb for seven minutes. Just, uh, butternut squash is cooked in the background. Now, the dessert here, guys. I already have this bowl prepared. Hopefully you guys can see how nice that looks. So we got 170 grams, again, of the low-fat skier. High protein, this is just like, again, low fat Greek yogurt, 170 grams of that. We got one serving of this Elizabeth grain-free granola, 150 calories per serving, 11 grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, five grams of protein. We topped it. We put one serving, which is 32 grams, organic peanut butter, 30 grams, pomegranate seeds, very high in fiber, high in electrolytes, 
excellent carb source from fruit, 150 grams of blueberries, and one serving, 21 grams of organic raw wild honey. So that's the dinner and dessert. I'm going to eat them one after another, wrap up the total calories of the day. And the total for the day after tracking was 3,050 calories. And I'm sure all the meals, again, you would have seen each meal's calorie count under each meal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section. If you're not subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button. Like the video, helps your algorithm out. Share it with your friends and your family. And let's get these gains together, guys. Peace out. Bar Naturals. And they all love to talk, you know they do that shit the most Think you on my level, boy, but you ain't even close